All right, good evening. We are live on Black Women Empowered with Dr. Jessica Houston and Mr. Keith Brown. And they are going to talk about activating your dream tonight. I'm going to be in the cut. Now, you know I'm going to say something every now and then. But uh, sit back and listen and learn because the Bible says, write the vision, make it plain. And that's what we're going to talk about doing tonight. All right, I'm going to turn it over to you, Dr. Houston. You can go ahead and start and then Awesome, awesome. Well, hello, everyone. Again, I'm Dr. Jessica Houston, founder of Expecting Victory. And then we've got Mr. Keith L. Brown, Mr. I'm Possible himself. We are so excited to share with you tonight, but I'm going to first allow him to give a brief introduction of himself, and then we're going to dive right in. Well, good evening, good evening, good evening to all of you quintessential queens and you global goddesses. Wherever you may be, tonight is your night for more expansion and empowerment and endurance because you have to endure. I am Mr. I'm Possible, Keith L. Brown, known nationally and internationally as Mr. I'm Possible, and I ignite the dreams, the hopes, and the visions of the masses. So I'm so honored to be with you tonight. And remember, it's not impossible, it's I'm possible. Yes, yes, yes. And one of the things that we specialize in is we help coaches, authors, speakers, entrepreneurs, those who would like to be professional speakers. We help them profit from their brilliance. And we just get so excited whenever we have an opportunity to talk about how we can help you, whether that be personally, professionally, how to get your business started, how to have a profitable business. These are all things that we specialize in. And we just want to go ahead and start off. I want to let Mr. Brown talk about this for a second, because one of the things I was thinking about is the fact that a lot of people have untapped potential. Okay, they got, and, and, I, and I say this because sometimes people think that's a, a, a compliment when someone says, you have a lot of potential. And I'm like, no, that is not really a compliment because it's saying that you've got some growing to do. I see some great things in you, but I'm not seeing what I believe I should be seeing from you at this point. And so I want to talk about why is it that certain people never fully tap into all that God has placed inside of them? Why are they holding on to it? Why well, don't they unleash it? Well, the reason they won't unleash it is because they say certain affirmations and certain scriptures, Dr. Houston, but they don't believe it. Mm-hmm. See, they grew up, and every Sunday or every Wednesday night, they say, I can do all things through Christ. Mm-hmm. strengthens me, but they don't really believe that because you say it, but there's no action that goes along with what you're saying. In other words, faith without works is dead. So if you're not working and aligning your faith with your belief system, then nothing is going to change in your life. See, it's very popular. It's very popular for individuals to talk amongst groups that they are comfortable with. They talk about their dreams. They talk about their vision. They talk about all of the things they're going to do. But I, I, I caution you tonight. All right. I caution you tonight because it's so very important that you surround yourself with people that are going to hold you accountable mm-hmm. for making those dreams happen, for making those goals happen, for making those visions happen. So you can't just talk about it. You have to ignite that passion. And when you ignite that passion, then you build legacy. How many times have you looked on the television and saw an idea and you said, that's my idea? How many times have you seen your idea in a magazine or on the Internet? And it's because you're so busy quoting the scriptures, but you're not quoting that which is going to move you from impossible to impossible. This is what black women empowered is all about. You can't be empowered. If you listen to the broadcast, you can't be empowered if you're just listening, but you're not activating what what we're talking about. So what you have to understand today, boys and girls go to school, but men and women learn the lesson. If you're just listening, but you're doing nothing, you're just in school. 
but you're not really learning the lesson because those who learn the lesson, Dr. Houston, they have that itch on the inside and they have to scratch that itch. And that scratching that itch means that you have to invest in yourself, that you have to do something to take your family to the level that you've been talking about all these years. So you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you if you actually do it. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. And, and you know, the Bible actually talks about not having a lazy spirit. Wow. I mean, all throughout Proverbs, it talks about that. And so just because you talk a good game, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be able to actually manifest those things. And so what we want to do tonight is encourage you all. And I know you all have heard me say this before, but you have to be action takers. One of the things that irritates me, and I'm going to say this even about our people in particular, is that, as you said, they will watch, they will get hyped up, you know, they want to be motivated, and that's all great. They want to learn and learn and learn. But at what point? Are you going to say, look, this is it. I am tired of dreaming. I am tired of looking at other people do what they are, are, are built to do. I'm tired of looking at other people start businesses, write books, get speaking engagements. I'm tired of sitting on the sidelines. You have to actually get frustrated enough. You can't just sit around and complain about your job. When we got an opportunity here right at BWE, we are training people on how to start a business, on how to be a speaker, on how to increase your profits, how to create multiple revenue streams. So in other words, you don't have to sit and wonder and dream and pout and say, what am I going to do when you got the resources right here? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let me tell you something, ladies. Tonight you have to understand that the 40-40-40 plan in America is over. No longer will you be able to work 40 years in one field at the same place, 40 years, 40 hours a week, earning a little over 40000 a year, and then retire off of social insecurity. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Those days are gone. You're going to have what I call not a, not a plan B. You're going to have to have a plan A1, plan mm -hmm. A2. You, you don't need a plan B. See, your mission is plan A. Your vision is plan A. Wherever you're working, let me tell y'all tonight, wherever you're working, that is your community service. Yes, it is. That Wherever you're doing your nine to five, that is your community service. But your nine to five will never allow you to build the destiny and the legacy that God has put in your spirit. You know, when you talk about potential, Dr. Houston, my old football coach used to tell me, listen, potential will get you 0-10. Okay, <laughs> play right. games, and you won't win any of them if you rely just on your potential. And mm -hmm. it, because in order to do something, you got to move away from potential, and you have to do something. That's mm -hmm. what we're talking about, activating your dreams tonight. And let me say this. In the word potential is the word potent, P-O-T-E-N-T. -E in the word potential is the word potent. And something that's potent is dangerous, mm -hmm. but it's only dangerous when you ignite it, you have to ignite that flame on the inside of you. You know, I remember uh, grow, growing up in Jamaica, New York, Dr. Houston, and traveling to Savannah, Georgia. And I remember my grandfather used to have this old dog. And every summer, you know, we'd come down and that dog would be whining and whining and whining. And I asked my grandfather, I said, why is the dog whining? Mm -hmm. I said, well, why don't he move? He said, because it ain't hurting bad enough yet. Right, <laughs> right. Some of you more position right now, wherever you're working, you're laying on a nail. But you know why you won't move? Because it's not hurting bad enough yet. But when it starts hurting, you will take that nine to five. You will use that nine to five to finance your vision. You will use your employer to help you finance your vision. Let me be real and let me be clear. There, wherever you work, they give you a salary. They tell you how much you're going to make. But when you start your own business, right. your earning potential, your earning power is limitless. That's what BWE is teaching you tonight, how to design your business, how to do a business plan, how to network, how to communicate effectively, how to market yourself, how to build a brand. But let me tell you, you will get none of this if you don't invest in yourself. You invest in everything else. Right. You invest in other people's dreams. You invest in other people's visions. You've been doing that for years. Aren't you worth it as well? 
when God said, listen, in my house there are, you know, there are many mansions, you know, right? I have many mansions here, many rooms, all of this. Well, guess what? It's time for you not to lease one of those rooms, but to own one of those rooms. And the only way you can own one of those rooms is to be an owner. Stop being a gift loaner and be a gift owner. Stop looking for the hookup and be the hookup. That's what we want to teach you tonight at BWE. It's time to activate your dreams, your hopes, your visions, your potential. Ladies, I'm talking to you tonight. Somebody got to be ready to invest. Yeah, yeah. And and what is it that will excite you to get up? Say yeah. that. What, what would excite you to get up? I think we got too many people who are just settling, and they're settling, they're selling themselves for a paycheck. And, you know, there is nothing wrong with working on a job, so don't get me wrong about, you know, if you have a career, that's fine. But my thing is if you're not happy, that that is who I'm talking to. I'm not talking to the person who is in their dream position. I am not talking to you. They know they have more in them. They are not even scratching the surface of the skill set they have, the gifts that they have. You know, what they're doing every day, the same thing. It's just a, it's like a machine. And I can remember being in that situation, and I can remember thinking there is definitely more for me to be doing. And when you start feeling like, you know, that discomfort, that's when it's time for you to make a move to, to do something else. Not leave your job, but start trying to figure out what it is that I am supposed to be doing. Why was I placed on this earth? If you don't know what your purpose is, then we've got some work to do. Absolutely. And You've got some work to do. You should not be getting a migraine every Sunday. Come on, talk to them. Yeah, yes, Go absolutely. On. You know, and, and, and let me say this. Even if you're in your dream position and you're happy where you are, and that is that dream position for you, and that's what you have been going after, and that's what, what you have been fighting for, and you got that promotion, and God bless you with that, why not? be in that dream position, but have multiple streams of income so you can help other families. Wouldn't you like to help some young people in your community and your family go to college who can't afford it? Wouldn't you like to help the homeless? Wouldn't you like to help those who are oppressed, suppressed, and depressed? Wouldn't you like to pay the debt off on the mortgage that, that is holding your church in bondage right now mm -hmm. so that they don't have to be begging for money for a building fund every Sunday, you hold the key. You can write that check right now, even in your dream position, if you would just ignite your passion. Your passion, not your side hustle, your main hustle, your passion. So even if you're in that dream position, you can have multiple streams of income that you use to help finance the dreams and the goals and the visions of others. Because at the end of the day, we make our living by what we get, and we make our lives by what we give. And the only way we can give is for us to prosper. The only way we can give in financial abundance is to be those who are actually living in the abundance that we seek. So even if you are in that dream position, what else have you dreamt about? You know, when you were a little child, they said you, you said, what do you want to be? You could do anything. I want to be this, I want to be that, I want to do this, I want to do that. But as you got older, you start listening to the naysayers. Mm -hmm. You started listening to people who don't control your destiny, who don't have a stake in your future. Dr. Houston tonight, Jacqueline King tonight, BWE, over 1.2 million followers. What if Jacqueline King would have listened to those who said, why do you want to start that? They already have something like that, but she didn't listen. She didn't listen. She heard what they were saying, but she didn't listen. See, we don't want you just to hear us tonight. We want you to listen because if you hear us, you'll be motivated for the hour. But if you listen, you'll be motivated for a lifetime. And when you're motivated, then you're inspired. And when you're inspired, then you take action. Listen to me carefully when I say this. Stop taking a no from those who are not qualified to tell you yes. Mm -hmm. Boom. Can I say that? Yes. Stop taking a no from those who are not qualified to tell you yes. How can people tell you you can't start your own business if they're unemployed? Right. Why are you listening to people who say you can't go back, back to college if they, they never graduated from high school? Who are you listening to? Mm -hmm. You see, 
the individuals that you're listening to, they are only resources. Mm -hmm. But God is the source. So if you truly believe that God is the source and man is nothing but a resource, then why not listen to the source? Why not listen to the source that told you that you can do all things through him that strengthens you? So I'm telling you tonight, stop listening to those who don't have a stake in your future. Stop listening to those naysayers who are in your ear because you were about to start your vision. You, Some of you were about to start your vision last week. Somebody told you it wasn't going to work. Now you're skeptical and you won't do it. Mm -hmm. So stop taking a no from those who are not qualified to tell you yes. This is your moment. This is your time. Ooh, wait. I, 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 I got to say something. I got to say I was going to be quiet, but I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay, so the Bible says that we are to be the lenders and not the borrowers. All you, all these quotes, we quote them over and over and over again. You don't believe it. How big is your faith? That's what. Right. That's what's real. If you don't believe it, then shut the Bible and don't even go back to it. Don't keep quoting these things if you're not going to put it into action. Like, like Mr. Brown said. Now, BWE is so blessed to have the best of the best. When I tell you these two right here, I don't hook up with just anybody, and I'm not bragging, but y'all know it's true. Uh, Dr. Houston know it better probably than anybody. I will like, mm -mm, no, baby, that ain't it. These two right here, you really want to take serious because they're going to help you get to the next level. I'm done right now. <laughs> I appreciate that. And I, I want to say, listen, I, I want to say I'm keeping everybody lifted that was affected by, you know, Hurricane Harvey and Irma, and I've had an opportunity to travel across the country and empower individuals who were victims of these awful uh, storms and hurricanes. And many of those individuals, you know what? Not only are they rebuilding their homes, they are taking action with their families and starting those businesses in the midst of the storm. Because they understand either you're in a crisis, you just left one or you're headed towards one. But in the midst of the crisis, while I'm saying this to you, uh, now listen to this word, crisis. And many of you out there cry, sis. All you women, you see, you don't have to cry, <laughs> sis, any longer if you would just go ahead and activate your goals. And I haven't been on in a while, and I'm so honored to be on with Jacqueline King and Dr. Houston tonight because I've been in Illinois. Over the last two months, I've been in Illinois and Pennsylvania and Tennessee and Alabama and Mississippi and North Carolina and South Carolina and Georgia and the Dutch Caribbean. Listen to me carefully building families, building entrepreneurs, building speakers, building authors who are saying enough is enough. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Mm -hmm. There was a lady who said, well, Mr. Brown, I cannot afford your, I cannot afford this investment. And I sat down with her right there on a piece of paper and I showed her, I said, what do you do every day for lunch? She said, well, I love Starbucks. I go to Starbucks and Panera Bread. How much are you spending on lunch? She said about $10 a day. I told her that's $50 a week, that's $200 a month that you are spending and wasting on lunch where you could make your own lunch at home and invest in yourself. You're investing in Starbucks and Panera Bread and all of these other businesses, and you're walking around with the receipts in your purse, but no one has the receipt from your business. Mm. No one has the receipt from you. What, you. Who are you signing checks to? So this is what we're talking about tonight. I'm very passionate about this because now is the time. Because you don't know when the next storm is going to come. But when the next storm is going to come, maybe they won't say donate to the Red Cross. Maybe they'll say donate to your agency, your organization, your foundation. Because you have set it up that you are now a resource for others who are in pain. I'm talking to somebody tonight. Mm -hmm. mm, I love it. That is good. And that's why I think it's, it's great for them to have this community with the, the Leadership Institute. You're going to be surrounded by other like-minded individuals. Going back to your discussion about who are you hanging out with? Who are you listening to? And, you know, a lot of times you're thinking, well, this is my cousin or this has been my friend since the eighth grade. That's all. That's great. But I think sometimes we shortchange ourselves because we want to be around people we're familiar with and mm. that we believe are like us. But how far has that gotten you? Ouch, right? <laughs> but how far 
has that gotten you? Mm -hmm. If you are not hanging out with people who have a vision, then you're really, you're literally walking around with people who are blindfolded. Like they, wow. they don't, they are blindfolded. They have no vision. They have no desire. If you ask them, where do you want to be in five years or 10 years? Can they tell you that? That's, a, that's powerful. And if you're hanging out with these individuals, I want you to take the top five individuals you're hanging with. Can they sow a $200 seed in you tomorrow for your business? Mm -hmm. But they can go spend $200 on a Beyonce concert. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Sister Beyonce, and I believe <laughs> she is great. I believe she is great in, in, in what she does. I believe that. But my question is this. Who you are hanging around, if they cannot sow a financial seed in you, can they sow a word into your life? to get you moving from impossible to impossible? Can they sow a word into your life? Can they connect you with individuals who can sow into your life? Or are they sitting around talking to you and with you about the latest drama on Facebook mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or Instagram? Right. See, that's what I want to know tonight. Are you sitting around wasting your time watching meaningless videos? Right with thousands of likes, but nobody is liking your fan page. When are you going to get your fan page up and running? When are you going to get your business up and running? We can show you how to do that. We can show you how to be a force on social media like Jacqueline King and Black Women Empowered is. We can show you how to do that. And why? Because we've done it and we're doing it each and every day. We're doing it for people who are serious about building a better future for their children and their families. Right. and building legacy. The time is now. When you are thirsty, when do you need water? Now. When you are hungry, when do you need food? Now. When do you need to invest in your vision? Now. When do you need to stop spending money you don't have, buying things you don't need to impress people who don't care about you? Right. Now. There's no need to buy a $300 purse if you're not going to be able to put $30 in it. Ladies, I'm talking to you. Yeah. I'm talking to you tonight because for so long you have been longing to do more right. and to get more and to have more and to be more. And now is the time. Ladies, now is the time. So that's what the Leadership Institute is all about. You're going to have the support. You're going to have the connections. We're going to be able to show you how to network with others, and we will share how networks with you. But you have to make a decision to invest in yourself tonight. And let me be clear with you: if you get off of this, uh, if this, you get off of this training tonight, and you say, "Well, I'm not really ready to make a decision yet," you just made one. Mm -hmm. You just made one, and that means you're hanging out with Pam. And what is Pam? Procrastination. Procrastination is the assassination of motivation. Somebody write that down. Stop Damn. hanging with Pam. Procrastination is the assassination of motivation. And every one of you has a gift on the inside of you. And you are brilliant. And you are beautiful. And you are bold. And you are worth it. But you got to define your it. And we can help you do that. Yeah. And what I thought about when you mentioned Dr. King is, Okay, you are looking at someone who has built this type of brand from scratch, and wow. you are telling me that you would not want her to coach you? Wow. Are you telling me that you would not want her to show you how she built her brand from scratch? Yes, yes. And think about this. Who are you connected to, my goodness? that has the type of connections that the master trainers had. Now, I'm not saying you don't know anybody, but my question is, would they be able to vouch for you and say, look, I trained this person. Yes. I believe if, if, if you come to me and say, hey, can uh, so-and-so speak at this event? Of course, yes, we trained her. Yes, she's ready. Yes. And we do this all the time, Mr. Brown, for our scholars. People are always asking us, you know, who can you refer if we can't go, if our schedules are packed and we can't make it. They are asking us, well, who else do you know? And we have scholars that we have trained. And we'll tell you this now, if you're not ready, we're not going to say you're ready just because you're in our program. Absolutely. But we'll make 
sure that you are ready. And when you are ready, we will definitely vouch for you. We will show you how to get the speaking engagements. I think this is so important. Even if you're not an author, even if you're not someone that wants to coach, if you have a business, you have to be able to speak. You have to be able to communicate effectively. You have to be able to pitch. And those are some of the things that we want to show you in addition to the marketing, the sales. So content creation, there are so many things that you need to really have under your belt as an entrepreneur. And these are the things we want to show you. And let me just go ahead and tell you, we have decided to keep the BWE Leadership Institute rate investment the same. Wow. Still. Wow. Still $97 per month. Mm -hmm. you, now, can't, you can't beat that. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait a minute. Here I just helped a woman. Yes. Say $200 a month by bringing her lunch to work. Okay? Or 100 you know, $200 a month. Five days, okay, a week, $10, $50 a week she's spending. And even if she just did the supplies, let's knock $50 off of the supplies. I just helped her save $150 a month, which means investing in this program, she would still have a surplus of $50 to get her nails done, to get her hair done. You understand, to go to a, to, to a restaurant, enjoy an evening with her family, dinner and a movie, whatever. This is what we're talking about. There's no, you can't afford not to. I'm going to challenge you tonight. What is it that you are spending your money on right now that you can put to the side and say, you know what? For the next six months, for the next year, I'm going to invest in building a brand. I'm going to invest in building a brand that affects lives and not sit around infecting lives. I just want to tell you, when you talk about our scholars, Dr. Houston, tonight, uh, Jacqueline, Dr. King, we are so proud of our scholars with the National Trichology Training Institute. Y'all, I'm going to tell you, for those of you who watched the Today Show, some of our scholars were on the Today Show on yesterday. If you saw these beautiful women in these white coats, they were on the Today Show speaking clearly and expressively, sending us emails saying, thank you for your training. Today they were on, they had on blue coats, and today they were on the Dr. Oz show. Nice. That's right, from the National Trichology Training Institute, where we, are, where we are master trainers there. And so we prepare individuals for television and radio and for Internet and to get in front of thousands of people. And like Dr. Houston said, your business is going to be so large, you're not going to have any other choice but to say Steve Jobs was very shy. Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey, there was only a challenge for her. They put her up against Phil Donahue over 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. Phil Donahue was number one. They put Oprah on television to fail. And that beautiful woman, that beautiful black woman of excellence got on and you never heard from Phil Donahue again. We want to help you. We want to help you be able to overcome the obstacles that Satan is putting in your way. We want you just to believe in yourself, but you got to look in that mirror tonight and you got to say these four affirmations. I love myself. I believe in myself. I'm proud of myself and I'm a genius because you got to love yourself enough to be willing to invest in yourself. You got to believe in yourself enough to know that your gift, your idea, your vision will change the world. And you got to say, I'm proud of myself. But in order to say I'm proud of myself, you got to invest in yourself now so that you can make life changing impact on others. And then you can say, I'm proud of myself. And then you got to say, I'm a genius because there's a gene in us. And that gene is a part of our DNA. And your DNA is your divine natural assignment. So I'm saying to you quintessential queens tonight, don't just put on your makeup before you go to work tomorrow. Make up your minds, make up your souls, and make up the world. Black women in power. Dr. Jessica Houston, Dr. Jacqueline King, Keith L. Brown, $97 a month. Yeah. And I get $97 for a 10-minute consultation. Come on now. $97 a month. This is what Dr. King has done for you. She's made it affordable mm -hmm. so we can have no excuses, ladies. Right. No excuses. So tonight, impact, influence, 
income. That's what we're here to do. Activate your dreams. You remember those Wonder Twin Powers, Dr. Houston? Remember the Wonder Twins? They said Wonder Twin Powers activate. Right. Form of a, and guess what? They were powerful, but they were not to the pinnacle of power until they activated. Tonight, you got to activate your dreams. Invest in yourself, quintessential queen. Uh, let me, I'm, I'm back. Okay, so, okay. so you know I got something else to say. So first of all, I want to say, have you noticed how, and I'm not going to call out any race, but the minorities come here and they thrive. You know why? Because they make sacrifices. They might have 15 people in a house. But in the end, all 15 of them start their own businesses, get their own houses. It's a sacrifice. You have to be willing to sacrifice to, to succeed. And also, I want to talk about, I spent 26 years in the largest electric and gas utility in New Jersey. A lot of people don't know that, in management. And let me tell you, even if you're not going to start your business, you still need to know how to speak. You yeah. have to know how to negotiate because I, and many times, I, most of the time I was in meetings and I'm being real with all white men and white men will talk over you. You won't get a word in edge. Like I'm just going to keep it real. If you can't be aggressive, assertive and know what you're talking about, you're going to lose. You're not even going to get a word in. These are the things that we're going to teach you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I love that. I love what Dr. King just said and, and what Dr. Houston said. Some of you might be in your dream position already, but within that dream position, in order to stay there, you have to communicate effectively. Mm -hmm. You have to know how to build the company's brand. If that's all you want to do is stay within that company, then you have to know how to enhance the company brand, company's brand. You have to be a solution for the company. We are here to give you the innovative ideas and the tools, the tangible tools that you will need. And I guarantee you this, when you start seeing the impact that you're having on your company, oh, baby, you're going to mm -hmm. say, look, I have to build for uh -huh. myself. That's right. if, I can, if I can make billions for company XYZ, I know I can make millions for my family. It's just going to be something that's just natural. Let me tell you something. Ownership is innate. Our father is the ultimate owner, so his children are owners. This is what it's about, to coach you, allow us to train you, allow us to give you the tangible tools, not just fluff, not just a lot of feel-good stuff, because, you know, we want you to feel good and to be hyped and to be motivated, but at the end of the day, we want to see tangible results. But we can't see any results if you're not willing to invest $97 a month. A coaching. I've never heard of that, honestly. I've oh, never yeah, heard that, of that is. I mean, we're literally almost giving a giving this away, and it's in group calls with us every month. They're going to get online training modules that they can access at any time. Wow. The worksheet. They can listen. They can ask us questions on these calls. And one of the things I believe a lot of people don't understand is that they look at their their gifts and their talents and their skills as you know this is just something that anybody can do and they kind of downsize themselves and a lot of times and especially women i've seen women do this a lot and oh i'm just the secretary oh mm -hmm. i'm just the nurse's assistant but they don't realize that a lot of those same skills that you use at work are transferable absolutely and then we pull out oh my goodness we pull out additional gifts and talents and skills that you did not even realize that you had. And so I always think about now I'm an intercessor at my church, but before I would be shy about getting up to pray because I thought I wasn't really good at praying. But now they have to tell me it's okay. <laughs> um, you were limited to five minutes, Dr. Houston. But now I can go, I can go in. Yeah. Speaking. I was nervous. I was shaking. I was trembling. I didn't think I could do it. Now I'm speaking in front of very large audiences. I'm traveling. I'm doing that which I thought I could never do. So to the person that thinks I can't do this, I'm not skilled enough, I'm not gifted enough, I'm not talented enough, I'm going to say this and I hope that you're looking the eyeball to eyeball. The devil is a lie. Yes. Amen. Amen. The devil is a lie. You have something to offer 
the marketplace. You have something to offer to the masses. I'm willing to bet there is a book inside of you. We all have stories, and we show you how to tell that story. And you don't want to just be a speaker. You want to be a, an engaging speaker, yes. a captivating speaker. You want to know how to write keynote presentations. We show you how to write your speech. We show you, if you want to create a, a coaching program, there are so many things that we show you that I'm telling you, people are paying thousands and thousands and Absolutely. thousands of dollars just to get this content that we're giving to you. I say giving to you for $97 per month. And one last thing, what I want to throw this in, and we're going to post the link shortly, but for the first 10 people, the first 10 people to register, we're going to throw in, and nobody knows this, I'm throwing it in, <laughs> a 30-minute one-on-one coaching call. Hey, man. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. oh I'll listen. And that's one -on -one, more than a program. <laughs> listen, I can't wait to meet you. I'm talking about 30 minutes. I need about 1,000 minutes. That means 33 of y'all. First, get, give me some, give me that, that buying number of the threes, okay? Let me get 33 of y'all, 30 minutes. Come on, over a thousand minutes just to empower you. And, and one thing that Dr. Houston didn't mention, it says 30 minutes, but you know, I'm a talk. And yeah. so you might get 45 minutes, you might get 50 minutes, but I tell you this, it will change your life. It will change your life. You know, I've just been humbled and blessed to change lives. I'm a former special ed scholar, as I like to say, not student, labeled special ed labeled at risk, lost a brother to sickle cell anemia, lost a sister to the AIDS virus. My mother at the age of 73, after teaching 45 years, my mother now suffers with dementia. And I am a co-caretaker. My wife and I, my family, my son, we are co-caretakers. And my mother used to bathe me and now we bathe my mother. My mother used to tuck me in. Now I tuck my mother in. And how was, am I able to help my mother? How am I able to do that? Because I tapped into my gift, I activated my dream, my vision, my purpose years ago. And when I did that, now I'm able to be an effective caretaker of my mother, not just give her the love that I would naturally give her, but guess what? To give her some of the tangible resources that she needs to be comfortable in this life as her mind fades her heart does not. I'm telling you tonight, you are blessed to be in your right mind tonight. Yes. And while you are in your right mind, it's time for you to activate your right mind and do that which is right. Do yes. that which is right for yourself, for your children, for your children's children, for your family, for your community, for legacy, yes. for legacy. And that's what I'm, that's why I'm so passionate tonight. When we're training individuals, when we're training them, we get to know their families because we remind them of why they're fighting. There was a gentleman we're training right now. You know, he was ready to give up. He was ready to give up. He has two small children. I said, this is what you're going to do. When we get off of this call tonight, I want you to just go stand in your baby's room with the light off because I don't want you to wake them. And he said, I stood in their room for 27 minutes, Mr. Brown and Dr. Houston. And he said, I came out literally in tears. He said, I wanted to spank my own self. He said, I wanted to beat my own self up because I was ready to give up, but I wasn't giving up on me. I didn't realize then I was giving up on my children. I tell you tonight, those of you who have children who are sleeping right now, when you get off line tonight, go look at your children as they sleep. Go look at your children. Go look at your spouse as he sleeps, all right? Then go look in the mirror. And when you look in that mirror, I want you to say the following. Whatever your name is, I want you to say this. I can't wait for you to meet the person you're about to become. I can't wait for you to meet the person you're about to become. How many members of your family are fighting over items when someone dies in the family? Mm. Because they want this item or their I, I'm telling you, I tell people, when my family members pass away and they pass away before I do and they go on to glory, when they pass away, I'm not looking for land. I'm not looking for vehicles. I'm not looking for grandmama's quilts. I'm not looking for the china closet, the ship a roll, or none of that. Because guess what? I got that. I got that. Ownership tonight. You be the one. You be, I'm, I'm looking at you tonight. Yeah. I'm challenging you tonight. I'm challenging you tonight to invest in yourself. Black, 
Women Empowered Leadership Institute is the way. And that's why we don't call this a, pro- a program. This is an institute because at an institute, it is long-term learning. A program just go- it comes and goes. No, this is not a conference. This is an institute where you're going to learn. But guess what? In order to earn more, you have to learn more. In order to earn more, you have to learn more. It's time to invest. Uh, I got something else to say. Hold on. So, uh, uh, Mr. Brown, I would like for you, and, and we, you and I talked about this, with the climate the way it is, and this is real, the government is, is, is eliminating all kind of programs. Why is it so crucial? This is the time right now. I need you to talk about that. I do a lot of work, and Dr. Houston and I do a lot of work with uh, federal agencies, a lot of school districts, colleges, and universities. This present administration is eliminating so many social programs for the betterment that, that are bettering the lives of people of color, of single mothers, of communities that are underserved, disenfranchised. We are able to travel around the country, everywhere from Harlem, Georgia, to Harlem, New York, from the Delta in Mississippi to Idaho, from Alta, Wyoming, to Appleton, Wisconsin. We're traveling all over the country, and we see program after program being cut mm-hmm. by the government, and it's being done in a very discreet manner. Do you realize if this last health care bill had passed that over 13 million children would have lost the coverage that they have with their parents? Do you realize that? My son, who we're able to keep on our health care until he turns 26, that might have been abolished. I want you to pay attention. I want you to pay attention to what's going on in this country. So many programs are being cut. But if you set yourself up starting tonight, yeah. If night, imagine how you can position yourself not only for your family but to assist other families. Right. Assist that family that next door that doesn't have health care right. and they don't have the benefit of having a thirty-five dollar copay like you do. Mm-hmm. But that baby needs to get to the doctor, and you can be the one to help finance that. But you can't do that if you're robbing Peter to pay Paul. You can't do that if you're just living from paycheck to paycheck. Look at your check. You know, and I understand sometimes there's too much month left at the end of the month. I understand that. But that's why you have to have multiple streams of income so that when you're not making enough on your job site, you can still smile. You can still scream hallelujah because you know that you have used your God-given gift to set up your wealth on the other side to set up your wealth and your purpose on the other side. That's real tonight. Invest. Mm-hmm. And and what what is it time for you to activate? What mm. is it time for you to activate? What do you need to take off of the back burner? If I ask you, have you been giving your dream your all? Mm. What would be your honest response? Mm. Because I know a lot of times women, we are, we're just reared to be nurturers. We're reared to take care of everybody. And a lot of times that's at the expense of ourselves. That's at the expense of our own dreams. And we think, well, you know, once the kids get settled, and we always say, once this happens, once that happens, once I make more money, once I have more time, you know, once I lose 10 pounds, you know, I can't stand in front of people right now. That is just all you're doing is postponing your breakthrough. Woo! That's all you are doing. Yes. And you are making excuses, and this is the time for you to go ahead and get started. It is time for you to take so many people, and I thought about this the other day. You know, you are out there, and you are just taking care of everybody else, and then you are suffocating. You are just going around. You're saving all of these people. You're making sure this person has what, what they need and that person has what he or she needs and the kids have and the spouse has and your parents. And you're just taking care of everybody, and that's great. 
But my question is, when are you going to take care of yourself? When are you going to do something for yourself? You deserve it. You are worth it. A lot of times it goes back to us thinking we're not worth it. Well, you know, that's selfish of me. That's selfish of me to spend $97 and and so-and-so need this. But if your kid wanted those $200 sneakers, mommy, please, mommy, you'll go get them. Yes. But we're telling you that you can take 97 dollars you can, but can you commit to yourself three months to change your life? Is it worth it? Wow. You can, you can literally change your family's destiny yeah. in 90 days. Yeah. Why not decide tonight, after everything that's been going on in your family, with people saying it's always been that way, with especially our people, Dr. King and Dr. Houston, we like to say, well, you know, it runs in the family. It's just like that. Well, guess what? If you keep letting pessimism and procrastination run in your family, your family will never be able to soar, Mm -hmm. never be able to fly. Tonight, I implore you, why not commit to being the interruption in the bloodline? Why not bloodline? There was a woman in the Bible Dr. Houston, Dr. King. And after she lost her mate, there was debt. There was mounds and mounds of debt. And during those times, they would come get your children so your children can work off the debt. She didn't know what to do. She didn't know what to do. But guess what? The voice of God knew what to do and said, you go borrow as many jars as you can. And you fill those jars up with oil. And you sell those, and you're going to have more than enough. We serve a God of more than enough. And guess what she did? She invested in herself by borrowing those jars. And guess what? Now, so when we say be the the lender and not the borrower, borrower, we don't mean that you can't borrow as long as you are borrowing to help invest into your destiny, okay? You don't have to borrow $97 for a pair of shoes. But you can borrow that $97, right? Because that return on that investment for that person who sold it to your life, oh, my God. So she was obedient, and she went and got those jars, and she filled them up up with that oil. And that means she was networking. She was willing to go talk to folks. So you got to be willing to network. I'm sure she talked to folks that she didn't even know because guess what? Her life depended on it. When your life depends on it, you're going to make some changes, and you'll talk to everybody. And then she sold. That means she got out there and she could communicate effectively because you have to communicate effectively to be an effective salesperson. And then guess what? She had more than enough. God gave her more than enough. He said, not only am I going to supply your needs, I'm going to bless you with some of your wants, and ultimately I'm going to give you what you deserve, but you got to be obedient. The voice of God has already been speaking to you all before you got on this call. And some of you right now, Some of you, I can imagine that there are tears running down your face right now. Some of you, I can imagine right now that you can't even contain yourself because you're ready to jump up and click on the link right now. Some of you, I know you're you're just thinking in your mind, yes, yes, because I know my baby has been diagnosed like Mr. Brown. My baby has been diagnosed special ed, Mr. Brown, and at risk. What can we do? Well, guess what? Guess what? Right now, you can build. You can build a business, right? that can help your baby get the help that he or she needs, even outside of the school district. Some of your babies need help in tutoring, and guess what? You can't afford the tutoring, but guess what? You can afford that tutoring when you invest in yourself and you invest in your business, and guess what? You can get your child the help that he or she needs, not like Dr. Houston said, the $200 sneakers that he or she is going to outgrow in three months. No, no, no. We're talking about tonight we need more values and less valuables. That's real talk. And one of the values that we have to learn as a people is Mm self-investment, investing, 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 so that we can get a return on our investment. We are the best consumers and the worst investors. We have to invest in the training. We have to invest in the coaching. Tiger Woods has a coach. I might not agree with all of his lifestyle, but he has a coach. That's why he was the greatest golfer. 
Venus and Serena have coaches. Michael Jordan had a coach. LeBron James had a coach. Dr. Houston had a coach. Dr. King had a coach. Keith L. Brown had a coach. We are the coaches who coach each other, and we're here to coach you. We're here to train you. This is the time. It is. This is the time. My good friend Les Brown said, you don't have to be great to get started. Mm-hmm. But you got to get started if you want to be great. Mm-hmm. That's the end of it right there. You have to get started if you want to be great. Black Women Empowered mm-hmm. Leadership Institute. Yeah. Um, so you all know I'm an iPhone person. And that new iPhone is coming out. It's going to be a thousand. My daughter works for Apple, so I already know it's a thousand dollars. I'm not getting it. But by the way, you, a lot of a lot of our people going to be out there getting that thousand dollar iPhone. And yeah. ain't nothing wrong with the phone you got. <laughs> I, I'm just be, I'm telling you the truth. That's just, true. Just because they're going to be out, it's because it's the newest and the greatest. But you know what? You in the bottom. The bottom of uh, the end of the day, you're going to be able to talk and text and do the same thing that you're doing on the phone that you're doing now. So why? Yeah. I just thought I'd that. I did an article about that today. But uh, I just, I mean, come on, use your brain and think these things through. Don't go spending your money on stuff that you don't need to impress people who don't like you anyway. That's that. You see, ladies. As a man of faith, as a man of integrity, as a man of purpose, I love to see women win. I love to see women win. When when President Obama signed the Lilly Ledbetter Act, equal pay for women, men that equal pay, when women came up to that level, when he honored women, and now we have an administration that talks down to women, that's misogynistic, that minimizes women and all the contributions that you make, you, your families, your families would be lost without you. Society would be lost without you. Imagine a woman with about 10 cents who started a school in her basement. My God, started a school in her basement with no real money, no real connections, she just activated her dream. And today, Bethune-Cookman University educates some of the greatest minds on the planet. Yes, Cloud Bethune did that. A woman who had no real money, all she had was a gift. Right. And because she activated her dream, Many of you run to the salon every week or every couple of weeks because Madam C.J. Walker became the first black female multimillionaire in the world. What are we going to say when we call your name? Right. What are we going to say when we call your name? And guess what? Those two women had mentors and they had coaches. And that's what we're here to do for you, to mentor you, to give you mentorship to help you build partnerships, relationships. The training is your scholarship, and ultimately you will have leadership and build the wealth that you and your family deserve for generations to come. Uh, There's a woman on the line named Tammy. She's been asking. This is not Bible study, Tammy. We had Bible study last night. You can go back and listen to it, Dr. De- Delana Elliott. Actually, she talked about uh, finances, too, in her Bible study. So it was a great mm-hmm. teaching. Um, this is a, it's called Activate Your Dreams with our master trainers, um, Mr. Keith Brown and Dr. Jessica Houston and myself. And, and we're helping you get to the next level. Um, mm-hmm. But one thing I did, I, I typed this morning, uh, write the vision, make it plain. And I, I also type that God doesn't give you a vision without provision. Now, people distort that. Some lady wanted to argue with me about that. She says, is it scriptural? Of course it is scriptural. I ain't going to say it if it ain't scriptural. All right, thank the, you. That's in the Bible. But the problem, yeah. the problem where people don't understand is when you're doing something, first of all, God's got to be in the mix. I'm, I'm yeah. going to take you to church for a minute. If he didn't give you the vision, it ain't going to work no way. 
It doesn't anyway. matter. It doesn't matter. You go out there and just come up with this brilliant idea, and if God ain't in it, it's just not going to work because he didn't give it to you. That was your idea. But the Bible, if he gave you the vision and you have the faith, he's going to provide what you need to complete that which he has given you. It's in the word. Absolutely. It is. Absolutely. So I, I just had, I had to get scriptural. And, and I met a lady last night who started a, uh, it's called Hannah's Haven. I'm going to give a shout out to Miss Bonnie. And Miss Bonnie is, is, not, is not an educated woman, but she was on drugs and she was living in a car. And guess what? God gave her a vision after she got saved to open up a, a, a house for addicted women. And I went to the banquet last night. One of the largest white churches in Greensboro sponsors her benefit every year for free. They yeah. cook the food, serve the food. Last year, she, she raised over $100,000. That's what she told me. This year, she's going for more. This woman took this vision and she's helping so many women who have been addicted to drugs and, and depression wow. and all that. Oh, this is the vision. God gave her everything she needs. And you got to see this house. Somebody gave her this house. I went over there. I was like, gave you? She said they gave it to me. And they get ready to build on, on, on addition on so she can expand. This is faith and believing but in yourself. She to, but she had to do something, she, though. She, it's faith. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Ideas, but they don't. They sit on them. They get them and they sit on them. They're afraid. They doubt themselves. It's not going to work. They shoot it down before they even give it a shot. You have to, ooh, acti ooh, you have to activate ooh, your faith. You ooh. have to. You know what? Ooh, ooh, that just... Guess, you know, y'all, I'm on, the, I'm on the, here with these two powerful doctors, right? So I have to, you know, I have to be on point. <laughs> and let me say this. When they were just talking, you know what just came to me? Those of you who feel that life has been robbing you, it's probably an inside job. Mm, I know if that's you feel right. that life is robbing you, it's probably an inside job mm -hmm. that Dr. Houston just said. If you're sitting on it, that is called self-annihilation, mm -hmm. self-mutilation, self-minimization. All right, you're minimizing yourself, all right? You don't even have to wait for others to do it because you are killing your own dreams. Right. In one sentence, you're saying, I'm going to do this. And the next, you're saying, nobody's going to support me. Mm -hmm. Ladies, let me tell you what's real tonight. That woman that Dr. King just spoke about and spoke with, guess what? Those people were able to support her because she put herself out there on a limb. And you got to go out on a limb. And I know it's the weakest part of the tree. But you got to go out on a limb because that's where all the fruit is. The fruit is on the limb. It's hanging there. God has given you that hanging fruit right there saying all you got to do is grab it. All you got to do is grab that fruit. But guess what? You can't grab the fruit if you're not willing to tap into the root. Mm -hmm. And what is the root? The root is my gift. That's my gift. That's but you right. got to be willing to that's tap right. into it. And, and let me say this. 50% of the people who are going to help you you haven't even met them yet. Exactly. The people are the people who are going to help you haven't even met them yet. And let me say this. Guess what? If you don't activate your dream, if you don't invest, guess what? You never will meet them. People are seeding into this woman's ministry. I'm telling you, I promise you, I didn't take no pictures. I took my girlfriend. She cried the whole time. These women, she was the answer to their prayer. They were on heroin, all, all kind of drugs. The pastor got up and said this. He said, when Miss Bonnie came to me and told me she wanted to do this, I was like, this lady don't. If God, He said, if God ain't in it, it ain't going to work. And he said, sure enough, it all came to fruition. Because she believed, she did the work, and people are seeding into her ministry. She can make, I called her today. She can make, have a golf. She got three fundraisers, a golf tournament and something. I said, I need to see you. She said, it won't be till November. She said, because wow. my schedule is like that. That's what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. I'm, uh, this is powerful. Powerful. We're waiting on you. We're waiting on you tonight. Uh, Dr. Houston is going to give you the information about how you can invest. And by the way, this is tuition because you're going to learn. You're not paying anything. This is your tuition. This is your investment. What is the cost? 
You tell other women who are in black women empowered, or if they're not, and they want to join, and they were not on the call tonight, they were not on the Internet tonight, and they say, well, how much does it cost? You tell them nothing. Say, baby, it doesn't cost anything, but there is an investment. Because cost implies that you're just giving something away. And I promise you, when you invest in the master trainers and the BWE Leadership Institute, the return on investment is going to make the stock market look like a mustard seed. The faith of a mustard seed is what you must have. Just a little bit of faith and a little bit of action. And watch God's reaction to a little bit of faith and a little bit of action. Watch God's reaction Amen. and how he favors you, your family, your children, your destiny, your legacy. And I will say this, if you do the work, it will work. Mm-hmm. If you do the work, it will work. It will. Well, this Amen. has been very powerful. I'm going to ask uh, Dr. Houston, you have any closing remarks? Yeah, I just want to tell everyone who is watching to just take a chance on yourself. You are, I, I can see there are some people out there who are crying out to God and trying to figure out what it is they are supposed to be doing. And he said, I have your answer. Mm-hmm. I sent people to help you. You just have to take advantage of it. And it's not a big investment at all. $97 per month. And again, the first, uh, we got a few more come in um, around the same time. We're not going to, to shut you down, but you will get a one-on-one coaching call with Mr. Brown and I, maybe separate, or we both might be on your call. But either way, I promise that call will be worth more than the value of the entire program. I'm Absolutely. telling you. That about your 2018, that's pretty big. That's big. So we love you, and we can't wait to support you. Absolutely. God bless you. We thank you so much. I do thank you, uh, Mr. Brown, Dr. Jessica. You know I love y'all. Y'all know we family. And yes. and, and look, we're going to do this anyway. It's, it's going to happen. So. Um, you know, why not invest in yourself? And tomorrow night, uh, we'll be back with Dr. Roma Benjamin. We're talking about saving our children, education. Our children are not failing. We are failing them. God bless you until we meet again. Uh, go ahead and sign up. Dr. Jessica is going to post that link. Go ahead and sign up. Yes, I and, uh, Okay. Today is your day. God bless. Good night. God bless. God bless.